Good evening. So today is the start of a new van build. Uh, we've got a 2007 Iveco Ambulance. I'm excited about this one. Fresh start. I'm going to show you around. So I've already got cracking, taking all the shit out of the roof. Um, vents, speakers, uh, skylights around, big roof vent here, lights, lights, speakers, roof light. I'm going to take these big halogen things down and another roof light. Uh, those are the skylight surrounds. Already took one of those down, roof vent surrounds, all that kind of stuff. Um, so the good thing about this van is it's already boarded out, so it's already ply lined and it's just carpeted. However, the customer wants cladding. So the beauty of this is that I'm just basically overboarding this with cladding. Um, it's just going to be a dream actually because it doesn't matter where I put a screw pretty much. I'm guaranteed to touch touch wood, touch wood. It's probably a better way of putting that. There's a better way of me. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so I'm gonna try and clear it all out, get rid of all these dead screws and um, get cracking. So it's, the setup is gonna be very similar to my old van, uh, which is a Let's say a traditional layout. Bed across there. Where the wheel wells are, there's going to be a seat, a seat, a table. Pops down to another bed. Um, the back windows, these two back windows are going to be boarded off. So you're not going to see those. Um, which is going to be the bedroom area. And then the rest of the windows are going to be open. Uh, kitchen across here, which will join up roughly to the seat area. And then uh, a toilet box there, next to that seating area. And then the entrance is just as it is. Um, it's already got the overhead storage, but I'm just going to tidy this up. But that'll be way further down the line. Could have sneezed. <coughs> um, that sneeze was dust and probably roof insulation. Thankfully not cats this time. Um, there's already a solar panel. Um, it has been used as a camper van. I'm not really, I'm not really understanding very well how how it's been used as a camper van because there's no bed or anything in it. But it's already got a 240 hookup to these sockets here. It's already got a solar panel to this charge controller, and the solar panel being bolted. <laughs> the solar panel being bolted straight through the roof. <laughs> it's been bolted straight through the roof. <laughs> Oh dear. Anyway, I'm going to get rid of them. I'm going to take these out and seal the roof back up uh, and then put a much bigger solar panel on. Um, <laughs> and, and I'm going to fix it to roof properly. Right, so this roof fan here is one of them that's got like a dome thing on top, but it is leaking, so it's getting sealed up. Um, it's probably more trouble than it's worth removing it and then having a big hole and sealing that up. I've just tried taking the screws out as well and they just rounded off so the uh, customer is cool with uh, sealing the whole thing up from outside but it's going to be covered with a solar panel anyway that's the other thing so it ain't going to matter too much um, everything else on the roof looks alright I've took out daft bolts uh, that were here sealed them from the, from the roof as well uh, just going to send some links to solar panels to the customer so they can get that ordered. Yeah, I'm right ready to put the first piece of uh, cladding on there. I just need to take this light off. These things are incredible, like, they're meant to be used when the engine's running on the ambulance because they're halogen bulbs. But that's a cool bit of kit, isn't it? Oh. Right, anyway, I will get cracking. So, 
that to start the uh, clad in. I just want to show you this handy little tip. This one piece here has been sacrificed to be my helping hand. So it's going to hold it there while I screw it this end. And then I can screw it and screw it and screw it. And I can use this for the entire build to hold the pieces up while I need to. Uh, and then at the end, I can still use that piece in the build somewhere. So it's worth making a sacrifice. Anyway, let's get cracking. We're boarding this motherfucker up. skylights etc it is hard work doing this on your own especially when you're working with three meter lengths of wood and your arms are less than two meters long uh, combined uh, anyway it's lunchtime now <sighs> that's lunchtime over with now time to crack on just one thing though before I crack on I keep getting a lot of messages and comments saying where's the dog kind of implying that maybe like eating the dog or something She's there. I know. I know. Um, she's alive and well. I just don't put her in videos a lot because she's not interested. <laughs> she stinks. Hey, she stinks. Back to work. Right. Day one. Complete and ceiling complete. Completo. <sighs> Hope you can see that. Um, I've still got the trims to put back in that, for the skylight, but um, the wood is roughly cut to the right shape. And then you've got the curve of the ceiling there, which was a bloody nightmare to sort out. And then same on this side, bloody night there. The worst thing about it is doing it on your own. When you've got three metre lengths of uh, quite flimsy uh, cladding, uh, it's a bit of a pain, it's a bit of a pain to hold it and um, screw it and get it to sit in the tongue and groove and all that. But anyway, I managed it. Yeah. So tomorrow, continue I'm going to continue cladding down the walls and I've got to sort out these windows somehow because I've got to board off these back windows. I took the tint off already. I need to retint those so that you can't see in. But then I'm going to be putting some insulation on and boarding them out. So I need to get some uh, some ply sheet for that. But anyway, just wipe that. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed. Whoa! Let me enjoy these van builds if you if you do give us a subscribe and all that and give us a thumbs up uh really appreciate it really appreciate your support <sighs> see you all soon i love you all uh bye felicia